So another day in the shop, Casey Woodworks for you, welcome! If you're new to this channel, we got some cool things. New woodworking videos every Friday and extras in between every Friday if I can fit it into my schedule. So, little extra, thought I'd show you my new box, well it's not new, my refurbished, fixed, sort of, new machine box joint jig. <laughs> it's, uh, well... All I did was kind of rebuild the mechanism for now. I have plans to build a new one, like I said, but um, it's not my don't have time my schedule for it. So I spent a couple of hours getting this one back together, working much better. So this has all been redone in here. So it glides across this rail here, and a six uh, sixteen threads per inch uh, threaded rod. So every time I crank this wheel one rotation, it moves a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, T nut here, which is attached to the uh, glide mechanism and then two pieces attached to the backing board um, sandwich in between here to, to stop this from moving so wherever this T-nut goes this entire backboard and glide system goes with it. Um, and around front main new change is a clamp system uh, which is nothing more than a couple bolts coming through and some wing nuts to tighten down so <clears throat> Put your work pieces <laughs> there. You put your work pieces in. Now I've got uh, the same size on the other side just to keep even clamping pressure across our work piece. So then you just tighten it down and then crank it. Like I said, it only moves a sixteenth of an inch at a time. So what I tend to do is, when I need to go the full way, I might get my drill out, attach it to the here, and spin it very fast to get it all the way crossed. But I just did my first test cuts, and I've already chopped them, but uh, you can see the pictures right here, right now. And they turned it really well. Uh, I did screw up one by turning too much. It, that's one thing with this kind of a jig is you have to make sure you count your rotations and that you've got everything. So I've got this piece here. I'm going to keep doing uh, a bunch of box joints till I get it back in my head of how to use it. Because the old one, um, I built it when I was barely into woodworking at all. And there's a lot of changes I would I would make now to make it easier. But basically I just needed something that would get me through... Um, some some builds I need to get into my store so this is gonna do me for now and actually it works quite well uh, I was really impressed with the way it goes now uh, all the all the portions where like right here the uh, the base where the work pieces will be contacted it's all waxed with floor wax the runner here is waxed all the entire rails waxed. the inside and outside of the backboard and so forth everything is completely waxed so there's no binding, no um, getting stuck. And then other thing I did, uh, I had a problem with this lifting up as you turned it. So I put these little backing blocks in here, guiding blocks, whatever you want to call them, um, that will basically sandwich down right underneath of this board here, which these are cut a little short compared to this so that you get a bowing effect that keeps constant pressure on here. And with the wax, it... it I don't know. It uh, there isn't much resistance. It's nice and tight. It's exactly where I want it to be. So uh, there's one of the the bolts for the clamping system. It's uh, just a normal carriage bolt, but it got it uh, recessed into the wood so that it won't interfere with the glide when you crank it. And the underside and everything is all waxed, so it glides really nice. And I'm just gonna keep doing some more test cuts. So here, check it out. How see how it works. So this is my little half inch spacer that I am just simply using to line up. My box joints are going to be half inch wide. So I'm just using this to make sure that I am in fact a half inch width. That then I can tighten it down. And I know my first cut is going to be a half inch apart from uh, each other. So that we get a proper cut. 
double check up here. Looks good. So, all right, tighten this down and we'll start cutting. Okay, so there it is. One box joint. Um, turned out pretty good. I did kind of clean up the very inside here with the chisel. Um, one of the fingers I had probably about a 64th too big, so I shaved it down with the chisel just a tad and got rid of some of the kerf marks. But other than that, this is exactly how it came out. Um, worked out really well. So now I can get to some of these projects that. Uh, get to some of these projects that need to be gotten to so hope you like this look at the box joint jig and like I said I do plan on making I do plan on making a new one of these um, at some point down the line which I will probably video so until then thanks and you know probably get outside go do something that's a nice day at spring or build something today <laughs>